Uh, hello, I'm Jaume at Montserrat Contemporary Art. Um, when I was young, I wanted to be an artist, a good artist, and I had a lot of energy. And even I went to do sceneries in a, in a cold weather, wind, windy, um, raining, even in, on the moonlight. And then, when I was um, 19 years old, I went to the university because I wanted to be a really, really good artist. And my first year in the, in the university, I remember that I came in with a lot. I thought I was very good, and I said, what am I going to learn in here, you know? But I knew it, that I needed to learn something there because even I felt that I was doing paintings on my own way, I needed to to perfect them, you know. And I remember that <clears throat> uh, my, my table and everything was so messy. All my oil paintings, every, everything so, the brushes and everything so, so messy, so with oil colors. And I used to paint my way, you know, like, like didn't care about details and anything. Even I remember one girl was walking around me and she said, um, to be, to, when every time I walk around you, I get my clothes full of dirty of paint because I was so, so messy. And anyway, uh, I thought my paintings were okay that way, but I didn't know anything else. And my teacher one day saw me and said, well, you are very good, you know, you have good, um, good talent, but um, I think you need a lot, a lot of discipline. And I said, really? And he said, yes, you need discipline. He was on top of me the whole year. Show me how to paint better. And he said, look at this, look at the, look over there. You find that color over there. How is that color? And we go to your palette. Until you find this color, you stain your palette. Mm -hmm. Until I find the color, and then you put it in the in the canvas, and this one way after another way after another way, until I learn it how to really be organized and disciplined painting. This was um, the first step. At that time, then I did a lot of research. I did big, large, large paintings. I was very active, painting all the time, and. My problem it was the subject, you know, because to find a subject every time what I'm going to paint, it was very difficult for me because it was like a series. When you, you go for something, you imagine you're going to paint this and then you finish this and you start something else, a new series of paintings. It was thinking too much about, about it because my main goal it was paint. I like paint a lot, but to think too much about what I'm going to paint about the subject, it was a little bit difficult. And my sister, she's very, she, she, has, she has been very helpful always to me. She said to me, well, she trying to help, she said, why you don't find a subject that it's more universal, more universal and more people more appealing to people because what, what I was painting it was something it was the subjects I was painting it was something it was inside of me and it was people sometimes said I don't understand paint your paintings are very beautiful but we don't understand very much what it means explain me what it means and I was tired of this and my sister said go for something more universal that people appeals to more people in the world and I said well that's that's smart you know and I said, what is this? And she said, flowers. At that time, I said, flowers? I don't think so. But one, just one year after, I, I already did my first exhibition, and it was very, very successful. I saw everything. And I like it, even I like it more than what I did before. And I said, well, I'm going to stay in this because People understand, people don't ask me what it means. It's very universal. 
People love it, but okay, and I keep doing, going on this. And... That's, that's, that's my history, you know, but I, I like what I do. Thank you. Thank you very much and thank you.